Crypto.com and FTX are running Super Bowl ads after buying the naming rights to professional sports arenas. What's going on beautiful people? I'm Lando, success your favorite motivational teacher. The goal is whenever you come to my page, it's to leave it on something that you didn't know before you came here. Make sure you press that like button and go ahead press subscribe button. And if you press that handy dandy bell button, you will get notifications whenever I do a new video. So the news we're talking about today is Crypto.com will run its first Super Bowl ad. The Singapore-based cryptocurrency platform Crypto.com will run its first Super Bowl ad commercial in February as it seeks to become a household name. In the latest string of moves from Crypto.com to get its name on the map, the company last month agreed to pay $700 million for a 20-year deal given name and rights on the Staples Center in Los Angeles, which will be coming to Crypto.com Arena on Saturday. It said on Tuesday that it will sponsor the Los Angeles-based women's soccer team, the Angel City Football Club while also including the actor Matt Damon for a commercial that was released in October. And commit. Remember this. Fortune favors the brave. We are a community building the future of the internet. Cryptocurrency exchange FTS will also make its first ad appearance in the game after making big pushes of its own into naming rights and advertising campaigns. NBC Universal, part of Comcast Corporation, has been seeking at least 6.5 million 30 seconds of advertising time in the game, up to 5.5 million asking for CBS telecast in 2021. In my honest opinion, that is not a lot of money, 6.5 million. That is not a lot to a company that have multi-millions and is doing $700 million deals. So for 30 seconds to be on a Super Bowl for this company, that is um, a good deal. Crypto.com's strategy with its high profile moves has been largely about showing it is not a passing trend and that his product should be trusted. According to Steven, and I am not gonna butcher his last name, the company chief marketing officer. There is a lot of people saying crypto is a fad. Just the way they said the internet was a fad, Steven said. Crypto is really the basics of the next version of the internet. I actually believe him. That's the same thing if you watch an old video where people were talking about the internet. It's interesting. BC, GE, com. I mean, well, what well, Allison should know. What, what do you is say internet about anyway? Internet is uh, that massive computer right. network, mm -hmm. the one that's becoming really big now. What do you mean that's big? Wait, how does one, not, wait, what do you write to it, like mail? No, a lot of people use it in communicators. Allison, can you explain what internet is? No, she can't say anything in 10 seconds or less. Uh -huh. <laughs> the company various marketing efforts and Formula One motor racing, the ultimate fighting championship and professional basketball are designed to reach different groups of people, he added. Crypto is genuinely for everybody, Steven said. Going into different sports just allow me to reach everybody where they are. Super Bowl is just one more step into that, where it's as big as it gets. Crypto.com chief executive Chris told Wall Street Journal in a recent interview that the executives want the company to become one of the top 20 consumer brands in the next three to five years, among the likes of Nike and Apple. I want to know in the comments how much of an impact you think this will have on Crypto.com price. Do you think the price will rise during the Super Bowl? And how high do you think the price can overall go? Well, guys, this is Lando Success. Make sure you press that like and subscribe button. I will see you later with the next one.